Hello everyone. I am Professor Vaibhav Shah. Welcome to yet another lecture on engineering curves. In today's lecture, we are going to learn how to draw an involute of an arc. Now, this is a special case of an involute. Practically, there are many types of involutes possible, like involute of a circle, involute of a square, involute of a pentagon, involute of a hexagon, and so on. You have studied all the types of involutes in previous lecture. If you are new to this lecture, then try to refer previous lectures for all these kinds of involutes. And if you like my content and teaching style, then do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support. And try to share it with your friends, which might help them to clarify their concepts. Now, let us start with one of the problems of involute of an arc problem one draw an involute of a circular arc with substance and angle of substance and angle of 90 degree at the center of the circle of diameter 1200 mm so now here we have to draw involute of a circular arc so we must know what do you mean by arc so arc is the smallest portion of the circle so if you try to draw any random portion or smallest portion of the circle it is known as arc if it is completely covering 360 degree then it is known as a circle but if you draw any arc other than 360 degree then it is known as your circular arc now here it says that your circular arc sustains an angle 90 degrees so we must first construct that circular arc and then after we can draw the rest of the involute of that arc so here the center of the circle with the diameter is given as 1200 mm so before moving ahead we must enlist few of the assumptions here so here we will be taking unwinding condition of the string and the length of the string would be pi d by 4 because the total degree turned by the circle is 360 degree and if we are turning just 90 degree that means we are turning fourth part or the fourth division of your circle that means if the circumference of the circle is known as pi d then here the fourth division of circumference of the circle that means pi d by 4 would be the length of our string in the case of our circular arc so now let us first use the scale because here we are having a very large dimension 1200 mm so for simplicity, we are converting into the small unit by taking the scale. So here we are taking 1 mm is equal to 10 mm as a scale. So we'll be using in the place of every 10 mm, we'll be using only a 1 mm. So let us suppose if we want to represent 1200, so we can write down 120 into 10 mm. And here 10 mm, we will use it as 1 mm. So we can write down 1200 as 120 mm. So now, required length of the string. So required length of string is nothing but the length of the string required to cover the complete surface of our circular arc. So here the circular arc is of the length pi d by 4. So that means we require the length of string to cover the complete surface of your circular arc pi d by 4. Now pi into d, so our diameter is equal to 1200 mm, but since we have used the scale, so we'll be using 120 mm as the diameter. Divided by 4, you will be having 94.25 mm as a total complete string length. So this is the string length we will be using in our case of involute of a circular arc. Now first of all, let us draw uh, this circular arc. So what you will do is, you will first draw this horizontal line and mark one point as a center point of your circular arc. Now then after select your radius. So here our diameter we have taken as 120 mm of a diameter. That means our radius would be 60 mm. So select 60 mm on your rounder. Put your rounder at any center point selected on the horizontal line. Take the distance of 60 mm on this horizontal line and try to draw one circular arc. Now try to draw one circular arc and draw one vertical line from this point to intersect the circular arc so it will sustain a 90 degree towards the center of your circle. Now after drawing this arc you can either divide this arc into either two of the equal parts or you can divide this into three parts. So we have divided this complete arc into three different parts. So 30-30 degree each we have divided this 
particular arc into three parts. Now let us start numbering from this top part, zero, one, two, and three. After drawing this part, from this point three, we'll be drawing a string length vertically like this. So we have drawn the complete string length. This is the required length of the string. So we have drawn this string length. So this string length is nothing but 94.25 mm long. So you have to draw just a vertical line from point three, we'll, which will be 94.25. Now you have to draw tangents from point two and one. So draw a tangent from your to point two. So how to draw a tangent? So you have to just draw line 90 degree to these two lines. So this is a line of two. So you have to just draw a line 90 degree to this line of two. So this will be the tangent at point two. Now at point one, you have to just draw a line 90 degree to this line. So this will be your tangent line at one. So what we have done is we have drawn tangent lines from point three, point two, and point one likewise. Now after that, what we'll do is we'll try to unwind the string. So here we have taken the condition of unwinding the string. So let us suppose we try to unwind the string of the division zero till one. So we have unwinded the string like this. So this is the end point of the string right now. So understand this is the end point of string. If we try to unwind in anti-clockwise direction, then this will be the end point of your string. And the string now is unwinded from point zero till one. So now your final string would be on one day condition would be one P one. Now after that, your string is unwound from point zero till two. So you have to take the dimension of zero till two. So zero, one and two. So select on your rounder zero till two division. And after that, you have to just put your rounder at point number two and you have to just cut this line, tangent line of two, you will be having this point P two. And for point three, you have to take zero till three division on your rounder and you have to cut your rounder on this vertical line of three and you will be having this point as a P3. So this will be your zero point. You can either write down P0. This will be P1. This is P2 and P P3. So you have to just connect all these points and you will be having this uh, circular arcs in values. So what we have done is I am quickly revising this example once again. So first of all, you will be drawing horizontal line and one vertical line. So you will be having one center. From this center, you will be taking radius is equal to 60 mm. 60 mm radius, you will draw one circular arc. So this is nothing but our circular arc, which is subtending an angle 90 degree at the center. After that, we'll be dividing this arc into three parts by 30, 30 degree each. So 30 degree, this is 30 degree, and this is 30 degree. After that, the top point is we are calling as zero. This would be one, this would be two, and this is three. After that, from three point, you have to draw one vertical line of length of your required length of string, which is 94.25, which we have derived from our calculation. So draw one vertical line of 94.25. After that, now we have divided this circle into three number of equal parts. So for that, we'll be dividing this string into three number of equal parts. So we have divided this string into three number of equal parts. So this is zero, one, two, and three. After that, you will be drawing tangent from each of the points. So from one, you will be drawing 90 degree line to this line. So this will be tangent at one. From two, you will be drawing 90 degree to this line. So this will be tangent at point two. And three, we have already drawn this tangent. Now, let us suppose we are thinking that we are just the unwinding string from the position of zero and one. So this will be the final position of your string. And end point of your string would be P1. So now, this is the string unwound for one division. So take the dimension of zero till one of one division on your rounder from this vertical line, zero till one of one division of your, on your rounder and put this rounder at point number one and try to cut the tangent line of one. You will be having this point as P1. Now we are unwinding the string from two till zero part. So this will be our final position of the string. So we are unwinding for two divisions. So for that, select on this vertical line from the zero point for one division and two division. So select on your rounder from zero till two division dimension and put your rounder now on the circular arc point two and try to cut this tangent line here. You will be having this final point as P2. And for third point, we are opening the complete string from the zero part till third part. So you'll be taking dimension from zero part on this vertical line to one two and third part. That means you are taking the total distance of zero till this last point on your rounder and try to cut on your rounder here. So on this uh, tangent line of three, you will be having final point as P3. And after that, you have to just simply connect P1, P2 and P3. So this curve generated by P1, P2 and P3 is nothing but known as 
involute of a circular arc very easy so that was this that was it this is all from my side if you enjoyed my lecture then do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support keep learning stay connected bye bye